All right, everybody. Uh, ironically, in that last video when I was in with Nash the Lynx and I said we won't have a Truman Show blackout, seconds later we had a Truman Show blackout. So for that, I apologize. So we're inside now where it's a little bit drier and the wind won't be an issue and the rain on the steel roofs and stuff. So I'm just going to finish a few more of the questions that we had and some of the updates. And of course, thank yous, because uh, we do want to keep you uh, up, up to date with what's going on. And as we progress, we'll at least do one of these videos per week uh, to keep you uh, on the same page as us. So uh, just kind of to start where I had left off in the prior video was the webcam post birth. It is our full intention to keep the giraffe cam up for a few days after the baby is born. We do want you to be a part of that. Um, we have some meetings today that are going to address uh, long-term and more permanent follow-ups uh, with the baby uh, that'll allow us to have the ability to continue to function as an animal park, but also keep you uh, up to date with the, with the baby's growth and progress. So we're gonna have some more answers for you pretty soon on that. Uh, one of the questions was Oliver. Uh, how come Oliver doesn't have the amount of interaction that April gets? Uh, and quite frankly, Oliver is a bull. And not only is he a bull, he's a young bull. So right now he's, uh, he's very frisky. He's motiva motivated by only a few things. And uh, one is food and the other one is something we can't provide him. So uh, it'd be dangerous for us to share uh, direct space with him. So that's why you're going to watch the keeper shuffle him around either into April stall or into the giraffe yard when they do clean his space. Now rest assured, his spot his stall is cleaned uh, two times a day, usually spot cleaned, and then it's fully cleaned every two to three days, depending on the need. So just because you don't see us in there, we are in there, we're navigating around his space. And the unique thing about our design in our giraffe barn, it's a no contact design. So in the event, even April someday decides she doesn't want to share space with us, we're able to work around them, feed them, water them, do everything we need to do without even stepping foot in their stall. It's designed that way. So just because you don't see it happening, don't worry, it is happening. Uh, another thing is April's light. I've had a few people reach out, uh, even a sleep doctor reached out concerned about the night light that April has in her space. Uh, now, please remember, a webcam is designed to capture as much light as possible. That's, that's how they're made, to kind of illuminate the space that they're viewing. Now that nightlight looks much brighter on uh, your, your monitors at home. Uh, it's actually not that bright at all. If we're in that barn operating around that nightlight, it's not enough for us to actually function. The purpose of that light is to simply illuminate just enough so she doesn't deliver in pitch black because that's not natural and that would not be safe. So consider the light that's projected by a full moon would be co almost uh, comparable to what this nightlight is providing April. Now rest assured that night light is not from above, so it doesn't mess with a day or a night cycle. It's actually mounted about seven feet up off the ground, so it illuminates the ground, but not so much uh, the upper area. So she is still capable of sleeping, uh, no problem, and it doesn't affect that sleep cycle. And that's another neat thing to bring up, is that giraffes don't sleep like us. They don't sleep in the night and, and, and play all day. Giraffes, uh, they sleep maybe a, a cumulative of two hours per day, and they kind of hit that two hour mark by having cat naps. Now these cat naps, some of them are a couple minutes long, some are five minutes long, but they're always short in nature. Being a prey animal, they're vulnerable when they sleep. So they really minimize that sleeping uh, uh, cycle to smaller stints. Now when mom giraffes are in a herd, they call that a nursery group where moms are with their babies and the females will actually take turns sleeping. Uh, so one will, some will watch the group, some will actually get some shut eye. So a neat, neat uh, social structure there for them. Now remember though, the males are not in those groups. They're nomadic bachelors. They go there, they produce a calf, and they move back on. So dads have no part in that. Uh, next is the outside time. You have to remember, we're in upstate New York and conditions do not always warrant yard time. Even when our temperatures might be a little on the warmer side, if the yard is frozen, if the yard's frozen and there's a slip and fall hazard, we have to keep the giraffes inside until it's fully defrosted and deemed safe by our team. Now, a few days inside, that is not the end of their world. And in fact, today, um, and even tomorrow, when we do open their doors for them to go outside, you're going to notice our giraffes stand in the doorway. They like the space they're in. They're happy. They're content. They feel safe there. Of course, they might run out, stretch their legs, but home is home for them. Now, um, vet checks. Uh, Dr. Tim, our vet, does come in every single day, sometimes twice a day, depending on what we uh, kind of report to him throughout the day. When he's in that space, and you'll be able to capture this sometimes on the YouTube live feed, is he goes in there, he checks her belly, he checks her body condition, and he always kind of reaches up and tries to check on that udder, that mammary development that's going on. Now yesterday, many of you noticed the giraffe cha-cha that was occurring 
where April was trying to step on the toes of our vet and uh, more or less she was telling him she was done with his advances. Later on that led to just a small little kick uh, with a front leg but don't worry the vet was not struck he is totally fine and it's simply maybe April reassuring us and reminding us that she's in control which she is. And uh, remember, a giraffe's main defense is a kick. So if she was really upset and she wanted to deliver a message, she could because their kick has the force strong enough to actually break the jaw or crack the skull of an attacking, advancing lion. So uh, if they need to defend themselves, they certainly can. Now, uh, viewer observations. Here's another thing. We're, we're, we're also having our mailbox flooded with um, observations people are making in the stall. Uh, someone thought her water had broken. Somebody was concerned that she didn't uh, defecate enough. Uh, things like that. Trust me, guys. Uh, we're, we're there all the time. There's always staff members on site. We might not always be in the barn, but we're on the property. You're not going to see anything that, that we're not going to see. You're not going to see something that we miss. Let me put it that way. Um, we're there. We're constantly checking. Rest assured, we're, we're with you. So please just save us those emails um, because we check on them as, probably just as often as you do. All right? And... Um, Feeders. I'm going to readdress this one more time because we did it in the prior video and because it was such a hot topic yesterday, I, I really don't want to, uh, to, uh, to miss it again in this video. Uh, that feeder between April and Oliver, that's a shared feeder. That's an enrichment feeder. April loves to go over there, pick the hay out, throw it over her head and create what we call a hay shower. Um, that is not Oliver's food source. Oliver's feeder is actually to the left of the uh, screen and a little bit farther up. And you can see him throughout the day kind of standing still with his neck extended, but his head out of view, that's because he's actually using his feeder. In that back corner there is his feeder, his waterer, and also his grain uh, bowl. So don't worry, Oliver has more than enough food. And in fact, he is a bit overweight, like I had mentioned in the prior video, and will have to go on a diet uh, once the warmer temperatures move in. Now. Um, the last, let's, let's end this on an awesome positive. You know, for the few uh, concerns that we get expressed, which sure, there's a few concerns, but they're brought to us by an army of individuals. Um, sure, that is a portion of our day, but the other portion of our day are the positives. We are getting emails uh, from all over the world, uh, from children's hospitals, that uh, their patients are tuned in and invested into April and Oliver, and they're perform the nurses are gathering around that, embracing it and creating fun experiences for them. That's a home run. The number of classrooms that reach out and thank us, we're starting to receive cards and, and gifts in the mail for the keepers and the giraffes, that's a great thing. Also, we're hearing about um, support groups that have been formed for, for women, actually, that are based around this common bond of April, but it has opened the door for all these other sharing opportunities. It's a real positive, whether you are simply there to learn about giraffes, uh, to learn about the conservation of giraffes, or simply to enjoy what's going on and develop some kind of other connections with people out there, that's the home run, and that's the residual positive effect that we're seeing, which really uh, keeps us with you. Sure, we do get frustrated with some of the negatives or some of the redundant questions or concerns, but the overwhelming positives are just great for us, and we thank you for that. But please keep in mind, those positive emails also flood that mailbox. So um, by all means, leave your positive comments on our Facebook page, on our posts, the AM and PM uh, updates or videos like this. That's a great way to reach out to us and reassure us and, and, and pat us on the back and keep us going. So on that note, um, what we'd simply like to just say is thank you to everybody around the world for your continued support of us, of our efforts, of our park. We look forward to this calf just as much as you do, and soon enough, we will welcome it. Thank you.